Unit 1. Cognitive Psychology Presentation 1. The Nature of Memory, Capacity Capacity is a measure of how much can be held in memory. The capacity of short-term memory is very limited, whereas the capacity of long-term memory might well be unlimited. What has research shown us about the capacity of short-term memory? One of the earliest studies conducted in psychology focused on digit span. In other words, the number of single numbers or digits a person can remember in short-term memory. In 1887, Joseph Jacobs tested digit span by giving participants progressively more and more digits in a list until they couldn't recall the list anymore. He found that the average span for digits was 9.3 items, whereas it was 7.3 for letters. The key research study in this area is referred to as the Magical Number 7 Plus or Minus 2, an article by George Miller. He reviewed a number of earlier research studies and concluded that the span of short-term memory is about seven items. Why is that? What happens is that the data is held in your short-term memory store and you have time to count the items. But if there are 15 items, they won't fit in the store. To return to Miller's article, he also noted a special characteristic of the capacity of short-term memory. People can recall five words as well as they can recall five letters. They do this by chunking, grouping sets of digits or letters into meaningful units or chunks. In fact, Jacobs also noted something that might be related to chunking. He observed that digit span increased with age. Eight-year-olds could remember an average of 6.6 .6 digits, whereas the mean for 19-year-olds was 8.6 .6 digits. This might happen because people develop strategies to improve their digit span as they get older, such as chunking. So, what are the criticisms of this research? Miller's original idea of chunks was refined by another psychologist, Herbert Simon. In Simon's own study, he found that the size of the chunk mattered. Participants could remember more small chunks, like one-syllable words, for example, chair or mouse, than they could remember long chunks. Other criticism suggests that Miller had overestimated the capacity of short-term memory. For example, Cowan reviewed a number of research studies and concluded that the capacity of short-term memory is more likely to be about four chunks rather than seven chunks. Finally, we might consider a positive criticism. The insights from research into the capacity of short-term memory have had many real-world applications. For example, phone numbers are usually presented in chunks to aid memory. Postcodes and car number plates are also chunked. What about research into the capacity of long-term memory? <laughs> well, there isn't much of it, since it's potentially unlimited.